this is a 150 watt solar panel if you observe the solar panel very well each of the cell have bonds you can see there is bone here there is bone here there is you know from all the cells completely have bonds and due to these bonds this solar panel no longer work it no longer produce voltage it no longer produce current it's completely damaged because each of these cells depend on one another for them to work and now all the cells are affected so this solar panel is completely bad and there are few reasons or there are many reasons why these bonds happen which i'll be telling you like four or five reasons why these bonds happen one is using harsh detergent or harsh whatever to wash your solar panel that's why it's advisable you use ordinary water to wash uh, your solar panel so that your solar panel won't have bonds due to or won't get damaged due to those harsh uh, detergents or harsh chemicals you use in washing them. Uh, second reason is high temperature can be reason for this. That is why it's advisable for you to get uh, the accessories for holding the solar panels on the roof, at least to separate the solar panel from your roof to avoid over temperature or high temperature so that solar panels don't get damaged. Uh, another reason is mismatch, which is the main reason why this happened. Initially, we connected this because it was a fairly used solar panel. We got another fairly used uh, 80 watts, so we decided to match them together. So the mismatch caused this bond on this very solar panel because if you mismatch solar panel, the one with lower voltage will cause the one with higher voltage to drop to its level. And uh, if it's in parallel, the current might increase. If it's in series, the current remains the same. So it will cause this bond or it will cause something like this. The another reason for this is either partial contact, short circuit, or bridge. So if there is any of this, it can revert back to the solar cells and this will happen. So whenever you install your solar panel, make sure you are conscious of each of these things so that your solar panel don't deteriorate. Then another one is aging. If your solar panel is aging, is it will start degrading like this and you know you have a lot of something like this on your panels for some of you that have been using your solar panel for the past eight ten years you might have started seeing something like this on your solar panels it means your solar panel is aging